Hey everyone, Deck Wizard here. In this video, we will be going over the steps required to repair your Steam Deck's Dual Boot Boot Manager, which may have stopped working if you perform the latest SteamOS update in either the Stable, Beta, or Preview channels. If this is the case, then please stay tuned and let's get right to it. As can be seen here, my Steam Deck is dual booted from the internal drive, with both SteamOS and Windows 11. If you followed my previous guide, How to Dual Boot Steam Deck, then you will be familiar with how all this works. If you haven't dual booted yet, then please follow along with that video, which is listed in the description below. As always, thank you to everyone that's given me a watch since creating this video, and I hope you're all enjoying your dual booted Steam Decks. Now, let's boot into SteamOS and upgrade to the latest version in the preview channel, which at the time of this video is SteamOS 3.4. From the home screen, we need to press Steam settings, system. Scroll down to the branches and choose preview. SteamOS will ask us to restart. Press OK and navigate back to system within settings. Now let's check for updates and we will see that the latest update is required for download before installation. SteamOS will now download the update, which can take a while depending on your network speed. So, grab your favourite beverage and wait until this is finished. Once completed, the progress bar will change to a button prompting you to restart the Steam Deck. So, go ahead and press restart. Once your Steam Deck has restarted, you will see the Refined Bootloader, and we want to choose SteamOS. The usual logo will appear with a progress bar. Let this complete, and when finished, the Steam Deck won't load into anything. It will seem as though the Steam Deck is stuck, but don't worry as we'll have everything back as it was shortly. If at this stage your Steam Deck isn't turning on, then hold the power button down for 6 seconds to completely shut down. Turning on the Steam Deck normally, you will see that we only load into our Windows installation, which will be in portrait mode. So right click on the desktop, display settings, and change your orientation from portrait back to landscape. Once done, simply shut down the Steam Deck. With your Steam Deck powered off, we want to hold volume up and press power to access the boot menu. Once you're at the boot screen, we want to select the boot from file icon and navigate to the EFI file which controls the booting of SteamOS. Choose EFI SteamOS and you will find a file called steamcl.efi. Choose this file and we will shortly load back into our SteamOS installation. It may take a little longer than usual when selected but this is just the system finishing the update we commenced earlier. As we can see, everything is as it was before the update. So, to get our bootloader and Windows back as it was before, we need to press the Steam button, choose Power and switch to Desktop Mode. Once in Desktop Mode, we need to press Start, Utilities, and open a console window. 
In our console window, we want to type cd steam deck underscore dual boot to make sure we are in the correct folder and press enter followed by chmod space plus x space capital S and D steam deck underscore refined with capital EFI underscore install dot sh and press enter next we want to type dot forward slash steam deck with capital S and D underscore refined with capital EFI underscore install dot sh and press enter make sure you remember the password you set in the previous tutorial which if you use the one I advised at the time should be pass w you may be prompted at the end of the script to press y so press y and press enter Once the script has finished running, we can shut down the Steam Deck. Press power once, like before, and you will see that our refind is back up and running as it should be, with the latest preview update downloaded and installed. As always, I hope this video has been helpful, and if you'd like to see more videos, then please subscribe to the channel and press the like button to help me reach more fellow Steam Deck dual booters. In addition, you can help support the channel and my work by following me on Twitter, joining the Deck Wizard Discord, exploring the affiliated purchase links in the description, or contributing on Ko-Fi or joining my Patreon. This will help me to continue making more videos for the channel, tutorials and gameplay showcases. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.